Hey everyone, welcome back to Cam Room 5. In today's video, we're going to be talking about a new and very interesting chapter of O level chemistry, which is energetics of chemicals. Here, we will deal with two types of energies. One is the chemical energy trapped within the chemical bonds of molecules. This chemical energy is actually a reference to the bond energies within those molecules, whether those are covalent bonds or ionic bonds or metallic bonds. There's attractive forces involved and that bond energy is involved in those compounds. Another sort of energy that we come across often is the thermal energy. Now thermal energy is a reference to the temperature of the surroundings. It has nothing to do with the bonds. If the temperature is hotter, the thermometer shows a higher temperature readings. Otherwise, in colder conditions, it becomes cooler. Now imagine a chemical reaction where apparently one oxygen molecule is reacting with two hydrogen molecules. Here O2 and two molecules of H2 are the reactants. And definitely there is chemical bond energy involved in these compounds. There is bond energy within the oxygen molecule. There are bonds between hydrogen atoms and the hydrogen molecule. So it is involved over here. That is the beginning of the reaction. And that y-axis has the energy of the reactants. The products, which are in my case, two molecules of water have chemical energy trapped within them. But apparently, the products which are made in the end have higher chemical energy than the reactants. Throughout the progress of the reaction, the chemical energy is increasing because reactants had less energy but products have more energy. So the reactants have to absorb energy from the surroundings so they can make products because products need high energy. In order to absorb energy, they absorb thermal energy from the surrounding and then they convert it into the chemical energy. Throughout the reaction, the energy of the system is increasing because absorption of energy is going on. Reactants had lower level of energy, products have higher level, and that is a kind of a reaction where energy is absorbed. So we call it endothermic reactions because they are absorbing energy throughout the reaction. Another example would be methane which has chemical energy trapped in the bonds and when it reacts with oxygen molecules apparently methane and oxygen have a high level of chemical energy in the beginning because there are strong bond energies involved. In the beginning the level of energy is higher because my reactants are on a higher level of chemical energy. So the level of Y axis is really higher. But when they make products, which are carbon dioxide and water molecules, they have less energy in the form of the bonds. So throughout the reaction, when carbon dioxide and water is formed, the level of energy is decreasing. By the end of the reaction, there is lesser energy involved chemically in the bonds. The reactants had higher energy, which were methane and oxygen, but the products have lesser energy so energy has to be released because products don't need energy. So the, react the reactants decided, let's just waste the energy. And this wasted energy is released as thermal energy throughout the reaction. This sort of reaction shows that the reactants had higher energy than the products. So the level of energy is decreasing. It is a kind of reaction where reactants had higher energy products have lesser and the reaction proceeds by releasing energy. The level of energy comes down and this sort of energy reaction is called exothermic reactions because heat is released throughout such kind of reactions. Let's revise. We came across two kinds of chemical reactions. One is the one reaction where the products have higher energy than the reactants and the level of energy is increasing throughout the reaction. Here, you can see the arrow of the energy level is going higher. This energy level is actually called enthalpy. 
which means the change in the heat content or the change in the energy content. Here, the level of enthalpy is going higher, so heat is absorbed. This kind of reaction is called endothermic reactions. Endo means absorbed and therm means heat. So in endothermic reaction, heat is absorbed. And when we talk about the other kind of chemical reaction, reactants have more energy than the products. It is the opposite of endothermic where the products are on lesser, smaller level of energy. The arrow of enthalpy is coming downwards, which indicates that heat is released during such kind of reactions. Here you can see that the enthalpy is released, so we indicate it with a negative sign. Negative sign means released, while positive enthalpy means absorbed. Since heat is released during such kind of reactions, it is called exothermic reactions. Exo means outside or released or given out, while therm means heat. During endothermic reaction, the enthalpy of arrow goes upwards. But during the exothermic ones, the arrow of enthalpy comes downwards. In endothermic reaction, products have higher energy than the reactants. But in exothermic, products have lesser energy than the reactants. Endothermic reactions absorb heat energy. Exothermic reactions release heat energy. So these are the differences between them. Why did we have a peak during both kinds of reaction? We haven't talked about it. This peak indicates another kind of energy known as the activation energy. All sorts of reactions involve a kind of a peak where energy is absorbed and it is called the activation energy. Regardless of the endothermic or the exothermic nature of the reaction, activation energy is always absorbed, it is always involved. It is the energy barrier that is absorbed. Always remember, activation energy is always absorbed, never released. The energy barrier absorbed by the reactants to start a chemical reaction. So remember, endothermic reactions or exothermic reactions both have activation energy and it is absorbed. Number one, it is always absorbed. So its value is always positive. It's not like enthalpy. Enthalpy could be plus or minus, but activation energy is always plus. Its arrow always goes upwards. Remember, in endothermic or exothermic, the enthalpy arrow could be upward or downward. But activation energy arrows are always upwards. Its value is always positive because we know that absorption means plus. So right now, we know two energy values, which is the enthalpy and the activation energy. Let's study a graph and see if you are able to understand these kinds of diagrams which indicate the progress of a reaction. Imagine on the y-axis we have the value of energy, 200, 400, and then each unit on the y-axis indicates 200 increase in the energy value. It's a kind of a reaction where the left-hand side indicates the reactants, which is x2 and y2, while the right side of the diagram indicates the products. Reactants are written on the left-hand side, while products are written on the right-hand side. Now you can see the, the graph is going upwards and then coming downwards. So you can see the reactants had an energy value of 700, but the products had 20, 266 joules. The activation energy is always from the reactants till the peak. So activation energy begins on the reactant level, and then it reaches the peak. So to calculate the activation energy, you can see it starts from 700 and reaches the peak of 1200. So the difference is 1200 minus 700 joules, which is 500 joules. Is it plus or minus? It is always plus. The activation energy is 500 joules from the level of reactants to the level of the peak. When we talk about the enthalpy, it is from the level of the reactants towards the level of the products. The reactants are on a level of 700, but the products are on a level of 266 joules. 
the arrow is coming downwards, which means exothermic reactions. The heat is released, heat is given out. The enthalpy is going to be the difference between 266 and 700 joules, which when we use a calculator, we can obviously predict that it's going to be a negative value. So in case of exothermic reactions, the enthalpy comes out to be 433 joules. It's negative, which means exothermic reactions, heat is given out. Enthalpy arrow is downward, while activation energy is always upwards. So I hope this idea of exothermic and endothermic reaction along with activation energy is clear to us. In the next video, we'll talk something new. Stay tuned, guys. Thanks.